So what's up guys, what's up, what's up? For who didn't know that solar panel can actually charge your battery. It's just that you have to be careful. You don't want to overcharge it. So at this time, as you can see, the sun glaring off that solar panel. And as you can see, it's into my battery. So it's been charging for a while now. I was, uh, my car haven't started for about four months now. Right, so my battery is totally dead. And as you can see, I'm charging it from this 300 watt solar panel. Then after that now, I wanna charge up back these two chop battery. Uh, yeah, it's been out for a while. So yes guys, as you see, I have the amp meter connected to the solar panel, which is, which is charging that battery, right? So it is now connected. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and we'll see the reading on it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I hope you're seeing me clearly because the gear and this thing. So I'm going to go down to 20 volt. And as you can see right there, 13.75. Let me get some light on it. Well, it wouldn't make a difference because um, it is bright enough. So as you can see guys, 13.73 volts. <laughs> and this battery that was dead totally dead when i said dead if you connected a piece of wire here and grounds it over there it would not even sparks you uh you, you switch on the key nothing would would um come on the dashboard and as you can see now 13.73 fluctuating between 7273 and 74 volts right so I'm gonna go ahead now and disconnect this battery and then we'll test again and see how much is in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take disconnect the positive. Oh, give off a sparks guys because as you know the solar panel is in the sun so it's sending out charge right now. Alright, guess what? Let me check the panel and see how much coming from the panel. So as you see here. If you look closely, this says positive and that says negative. So the blue wire, right, would be the positive. So I'm gonna connect this blue wire, this thing right here, to this blue wire here. I'm using my one hand, guys, so it's kind of difficult. But I connect it there. And then now I'm gonna get the negative now and put on this side. Whoa. All right. Just a minute, guys. This thing is not connecting properly, guys. So. It's not making a proper connection here. So what I'm gonna do is go disconnect it here and here and connect it up there and then get back to you. Cause as you can see, I'm not getting a proper reading and I'm using my one hand so I can't get to every time I move it and it's showing you a different so I'm gonna get back to you guys now so this is the positive as you can see here it says positive I hope you can see that it said positive right so we're gonna put the positive in this one all right let me put in the negative first I'm using my one hand so I'm gonna put in that negative in there see how much this panel is giving out oh, there you go there you go. All right, so you can see 37.7 volts. Yeah. Thirty six point six coming in. There you go. So as you can see, it's connect there, it's connect there. Getting thirty six. All right, guys. So there you go. Uh, and the sun is out now, as you can see. There you go. 37.7 volts. So yes, guys. Uh, if we go ahead and check the battery, let me check the battery. Ooh. So we have the positive here. I don't know if I can, if I can, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can do it while hold. Okay. Actually, it's sticking the battery. There we go. And 
then now, the positive. It's rather difficult. It's rather difficult. I need to get some the clumps. So guys, I went now and get two clumps, right? So I'll clamp it and then get back to you guys. So, as you can see, I have the positive clamp on there. And I'm gonna go ahead, touch the negative on it. And as you can see, we have 12.3 um, volts, right? And before it was totally dead, absolutely dead, um, right? So, the thing is, I never get to video it while it was dead. <laughs> I should have done that, but I did not. And see, start up the car with it and see how it works out, okay? As you can see, yes, I know inside of my car, look, look dirty. <laughs> Along with my battery, look dirty, but it is what it is. So, um, here you can see, I, I'm gonna go ahead and put this battery in and crank it up and see. This battery has been out of work for about four months now, so let's see guys, so I'll get back to you. Let's see you guys. I get the battery back into its little house, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect up the battery now. Right? That's the negative on. Come over. Ah. The alarm just went off. <laughs> and there you go, guys. <laughs> Solar is amazing. So, so yes, guys, you see that? So if you have, you know, your battery dead and you're worrying about, you know, what am I going to do if you don't have a charger? Now you can see exactly what you, are, you can do. You can use your solar panel to charge it up. But let me say you, you have to be very careful because you cannot overcharge um, the battery. And seeing that there is no charge controller connect to it, then you have to be very careful else you will overcharge your battery. and. Um, you might eventually damage it right damage your battery so you have to be very careful so yeah i just wanted to let you know that it can happen my battery was totally dead and i get them resurrect <laughs> you know i get them back to life and as you can see started my my um my car and guys look guys can you see that <laughs> my dog sent that bag under my car but can you see that coming out of the pipe so it's actually water coming out of the tailpipe. So that's water, as you can see, coming out of the tailpipe. See that? Right, guys. And it's back out. There's the sun.